please visit papersailor.com to learn more about my book, Accidental Sailor Girl. Trip from Grenada to Karakou was a 40 mile run. This 40 mile run also included an underwater volcano called Kikum Jenny. Because you have to avoid this underwater volcano, that made for a really rough sail because where this volcano was and the exclusion zone around it, um, the way the winds were blowing and the way the current was, it was against you. So you're trying to go this way and everything was against you that way. Grenada, Karakou, Kick'em Jenny. Exclusion zone around Kick'em Jenny. And then the wind and the current was blowing from this direction. We are trying are trying to go around Kickham Jenny and go north to Karakou. But the winds and the current were blowing opposite. Our tacking looked like this. This is what it looked like. All the tacking we had to do. We tacked this way, then that way, then this way, then that way. I was sick. I was so seasick. So we arrived in Karakou after 24 hours of beating into the wind and we anchored in Hillsborough Bay. At that time, Hillsborough was very open and rolly. Um, we thought it'd be farther in there and be more secluded, but it was definitely a very open bay. And we figured we'd just anchor for the night while the sun came out. And it was, the sun was out like an hour and a half, two hours later. He went up forward to pull the anchor up and he's, you know, pulling it up. And I was driving. During that time, we had a very slow windlass. It was one crank at a time, one chain link at a time. Uh, since then, we got a better anchoring system, a better anchor windlass. Because we were rolling so bad that the anchor chain was taut, and the anchor had caught onto something on the bottom. The boat was going up and down. It ripped the bow roller off the front of the boat. The chain slid into the bulwarks, and, it, and when it slid into the bulwarks, it jumped off the, the gypsy on the windlass. The windlass handle came up and BAM! Right in Pete's head. Right on Pete's forehead. I look up and I just see blood just blowing off of wind. It was just blowing the blood everywhere. And I freaked bumper and we tied the big bumper to that chain and we just threw it all overboard. and Called on the VHF for help and a couple fishermen came. We're furiously doing all that. The fishermen came, and Pete went on the fishing boat, and Pete said that he dove down the 12 feet to the bottom, and there was this giant anchor where all Pete had to do was go down there and unhook it and, and just drop it in the sand and swim back up and pull everything up. And then we motored over to Tyrell Bay and anchored. It's just so nice to be still. After all the trouble we had anchoring, enjoyed Karakou for a while and fixed and repaired things that needed repairing. We found a welding shop that was on a boat. walked around and looked at a boat that was being built. And saw some pet pigs. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you scared me. Your piggy cell. <laughs> From Karakou, we went north to Union Island. From Union Island, we went north to Meru. From Meru Island, we went to the Tobago Keys. Snorkeling was cool, we got a cool picture of the turtle at the very beginning of this video. From 
Tobago Keys, we went up to Kanawan. From Kanawan, we went to Bekwe, and we really liked Bekwe. Islands. This is a Paper Sailor production. Please visit papersailor.com. <laughs>